And then on a practical level, Russell, the 12 steps, how do we go about that? Just in, can, you, can you give us 12 steps in a nutshell? Yes. Is that possible? It's the only way I can give it to you. Because okay. <laughs> it's what I'm imprisoned in. So like, uh, one, you admit there's a problem and that your life's chaotic. Like, oh, I, don't, I can't live like this no more. Two, you believe that change is possible, that you can be restored to a better state. One way of doing that, find someone else who's done what you're trying to do. If you're trying to give up drugs, find someone else who's given up drugs. You want to change the way you eat food or the way you feel about your body, find someone who's already done that. If, you wanna, if you've incurred an injury, look at some of the magnificent people that have spoken today, all potential mentors, all examples of different ways of seeing yourself and seeing the world. Step three, we have to be willing to take on board new information. You can't be like, I'm going to do this my way, I'm going to do it my way. Because if the answer was in your head, you'd have found it by now. You have to start being willing to accept external advice. And for me, a belief in a higher thing. A belief in something higher than my own individual identity and my own egotistical requirements. That's how I work it. But if you belong to a group with shared ideals, like we, we together want to make each other better, then you can trust that group. You can grow with that group. So that's one, two and three. There's a problem, the problem can get better, I'm willing to accept help. That's the start. Then you've got to do some serious shit where you inventory <laughs> what, you've, what you've done over the course of your life. You share that with someone else. That re releases you from shame. A lot of us feel shame. Shameful about what we've done, shameful about our bodies, shameful about things we've said, shamed about things other people have said to us. When you share your whole life with another person, that shame is relieved. Do you realise, oh my God, like I've done this process a couple of times, I've told them everything I've done. And they go, yeah, I've done something like that, don't worry about that, have you looked at it this way? There's nothing wrong with you. You're a human being in the world, you slip up, you make mistakes, you feel powerful, primal desires that were designed to help us to survive in conditions completely different to this one. We're in a zoo now. This is not how human beings live. We're in little capsules, little cities, mad situations, but we still got the same biochemical data and software that we had from when we were on different planes, different lives. So of course we step on each other's toes, we upset one another, but there is a way back. Part of that is sharing truthfully with another person. Then we identify our patterns. For me, loads of problems, objectifying, lust, wanting drugs. All that. You know, I identify what the patterns are underneath the external behavior. And then I become willing to change them. And I become willing to engage with consciousness in a different way. Prayer and meditation is a big part of it for me because you're talking to yourself anyway when you're coating yourself off, when you're worrying, when you're being anxious, praying for stuff that you don't want. Prayer for me is a petition to the deepest aspect of yourself to change and a belief that there are other forms of consciousness that can possibly be accessed through certain practices and any of you that have had psychedelic experiences will find it hard to doubt that I'm speaking to the adults now <laughs> hello I'm doing these new videos more frequently now please hit the notification button at the end of this video because then you'll get a, like a little bell when uh, I post a new video and I'd like you to get a little bell when I post a video then I can I don't know, be buzzing away in your pocket. Sounds like I'd be like a little pocket mosquito. Anyway, subscribe, click the bell because I want more people to watch the YouTube videos. You, specifically. <laughs>